Good to be back. Hi. Hi. Marites, you're the founder of King Chef. Okay? Tell me again, paano mo na, paano nag-umpisa ito lahat? Uh, we started 2010. Okay. Okay. Uh, I used to be in the business of uh, fashion accessories. Okay. So I often travel, uh, you know, saan saan. Uh, Bihayara ako dati. So, um, saan ka nagpupunta? Ano mga bansa? China, uh -huh. Bangkok. Okay. Um, whenever I go outside, so, I always feel envious of Rabe, no, sarap ng Chinese food dito. Okay. And, parang siguro, as early as that time pa lang, maybe early 20, 2007, ganyan. Maybe it's already playing in my mind, but I was in a different business. But did you, ano, nung, nung bata ka ba, mahilig ka ba sa, anong pinapaborito mong pagkain ng bata ka? Were you like a dim sum fan, Chinese food na kagad? Oo. Oh. Siyempre. Ano na yan, para staple sa bahay. Okay. So I'd always really look for the Chinese taste in whatever I go. Ano pinaka-favorite mo? Kasi ako, pinaka-favorite ko dito sa King Shop. Matagal mo na ako suke, di ba? <laughs> And uh, lalo na lalo na nung start ng pandemic, alam mo pinaka na isa sa namin miss ko talaga, yung shomai. Di ba? Tapos nagbukas ka na ng King Shop ulit. One of the first things you sent me was shomai. <laughs> And ikaw, what was your... So I can tell you, this is my favorite. Diba? You can't eat just one. Ikaw, anong paborito mo? Nung isa bata yan, ka? Oh. Uh, isa yan, and then bean curd roll, tsaka yung Japanese shomai. Okay. But what is the best seller here sa King Chef na dim sum? Yan din. Tsaka hakaw. Tsaka hakaw. You know what's good about your shomai? Number one, it's very meaty. It's very substantial. Parang mabubusog ka talaga. Yes. No diba? extender. No extenders. It's pork and shrimp. And every time, yung sarap na una kong natikman siya, Ganun pa rin. Anong sikreto nun? Um, just plain good uh, using fresh ingredients okay. and not uh, scrimping on it. So even though ngayon, di ba, alam natin, sobrang high ang food cost. Yeah. yeah. But we never, ano, uh, we never stepped it down. Na so quality is something that's non-negotiable? Non-negotiable oh. siya. Yeah, that's the only way to keep it consistent. Anong original menu mo sa King Chef? What was it? Was it dim sum? Was it... Both, both. Hmm. Lahat. It's a complete Cantonese fare talaga. So from everything from peking duck, roasted item, then but we developed our dim sum. So we're that we only had eight dim sum to complete the line lang, no? But when we started King Chef, uh, yon para discover namin. Uy, bigger na kitchen natin eh, we can do so much more. But one thing I noticed also about King Chef, palagi tayong bagong pagkain dito. This is one of the newest. Of course, these are the classics, right? Yes. Uh, what is this? Uh, this is shrimp with bacon roll. Ano ito mga ito? Ah, that's egg. Edible ito? Edible yan. So, pati... Everything on your plate. Pansinin mo, even your decoration. Gusto ko ito! Even the fried taro. Parang yung... And the fried spinach. Those are all edible. These uncertain times. Right? And I just want to say, you were prospering. You were opening. Bam! Boom! You had Baguio. You had Dayala by the Bay. You had your SMs. And then the pandemic hit. Right? Parang biglang roadblock eh. Now, nakakalungkot, diba? It, it, we're, our, our industry is really shaken. How do you, or how did you survive it? How did you take care of your employees? Actually, yan ang susi. Um, because I did not reopen for my own benefit. We really reopened only because of our employees. Kasi uh, prior to pandemic, there's really a lot of us. Uh, more than 300 na kami noon eh. So, thinking about their families, alam mo, parang paano na lahat, diba? Uh, so that's our main motivation talaga. Ano ba itong kinakain ko? Paki-explain nga muna ito. That would be, ano, wonton wrapper. That's a prawn ball in hot shrimp salad. So this is prawn balls in hot yes. shrimp salad. Yes. And then there's some sort of a malutong na crispy. hay or uh -huh. crispy hay. To give you the texture. Okay. Mmm. Kamusta? So good. There's so many restaurants now. All of us naman eh. Survival mode tayo hanggang nandito sa sitwasyon na to. What advice can you give your fellow restaurateurs, especially in taking care of the people? Um, actually, we opened our entire kitchen and pantry na. Lahat ng gusto nilang iuwi uh, to help them during the time na walang work. So, inuwi na nila yon. Kung may leave pa sila, paggamit nyo na, bigyan nyo na yung 13 month. So, we did everything, lahat yon. Plus, nagbigay pa kami ng food pack sa kanila when yeah. we saw them again sometime June yata. But yon, whatever we can do to support them, we really did. Uh, and then, but the best way to support them is to uh, revive the business, to reopen so that they can come back to work. And I, as, as we close this, 
I want you to, because you've done so well with, in, especially in that regard. What piece of advice can you give your fellow restaurant owners, your fellow entrepreneurs, how to keep things going in the worst of times leading to the best of times? Keep it long, di ba? So just stay true to your core. Yeah. Actually, I think a lot of them are really more qualified to advise me pa nga. I'm, I mean, di ba? Mas ano talaga sila ahead of me. But for me, what I've really done is just stick to our strength, our core. Uh, so just don't forget who you are. Um, because customers will ultimately come back for who they know you to be. Yeah. You know, everything will be better soon. That, that's what I believe, that's what we both pray for. Okay, so but in time, kapit lang. Kapit lang. Okay, <laughs> and we'll, we'll get through this together. All right? Thank Thanks you. for having us. Yeah, I really enjoyed this. Now, um, back to our business now. We'll Kaya eat na. some more. Chow time. <laughs> Chow time na tayo. Thank you. So good to talk to you.